are still following that breaking news out of Baltimore. The key bridge has collapsed because of a ship strike. It happened around 1:30 this morning, and in the last 30 minutes, we learned more information. We were heard from uh, Governor Westmore of Maryland. Of course, he has declared a state of emergency. Uh, now we are about to hear from officials. We are awaiting a press conference on the ground there about uh, the search and rescue mission and how that's going. First responders are searching for as many as 20 people. We have learned several vehicles were on on the bridge when it collapsed and there are reports of one large vehicle possibly a tractor trailer among uh, these cars here mm -hmm. or these vehicles and um, yeah meteorologist Jonathan Myers is with us earlier Jonathan you shared just how impactful this bridge is to mm -hmm. that area but now yeah. you're talking about conditions of the water in the harbor this morning uh, yeah, the water temperature there is about 47 degrees, of course, uh, just getting off of the wintertime season. So uh, that water is not as cold as it can be, but, still pretty but it's cold. pretty cold yeah. and hypothermia can set in. And that means unconsciousness and eventually, you know, uh, potential fatal conditions. Dangerous conditions. Uh, hypothermia with um, uh, unconsciousness about 30 to 60 minutes mm -hmm. and then, uh, you know, uh, fatality can occur in as little, little as one to three hours, if not rescued. And of course, we're talking about a 185 foot drop off of the bridge. And you, you just got to think about this. I mean, it's, it's horrifying. A, a normal and that's the yeah, from, the, bridge from the top, you know, from the bridge deck down to the water. Right. So you just I mean, you got to imagine the size of a person, you know, five, mm -hmm. six feet in the multiples yeah. of how tall that is. So I mean, you have to fit container ships, you know, cruise mm -hmm. size ships right. under this bridge. This is the main access here to the Inner Harbor, one of the busiest ports mm -hmm. in the United States. So you, you were talking uh, about and you were talking about the timing and that this happened. We know about 1:30 this morning, 1 so we're coming up on about five hours since yeah. uh, since this happened. And, and I mean, I guess the the one I, I, I it's it's hard to see positivity here, but the one positive element here is this didn't happen because I know living in Baltimore uh, and and also commuting to Baltimore mm -hmm. uh, up until December um, you know I'd been there 12 years uh, this is a big pinch point big busy spot when folks yeah. don't want to take mm -hmm. 95 and 895 during the morning commute because it's too crowded too busy uh, there's two tunnels uh, two sets of tunnels that go under the water there uh, to uh, get around the city and, and to kind of cross through. They take 695 and they take the Francis Scott Key mm -hmm. Bridge. I mean, there, there are normally traffic jams mm -hmm. here, uh, you know, eight o'clock in the morning, five, six in the afternoon, evening. So this bridge could have been, I mean, we're talking, you know, maybe seven, maybe as much as 20 people right, uh, at this right. point, unconfirmed uh, reports here, but there could, could have been an entire bridge full, full of, of people. cars. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because um, we just assume that this. things will work go the way they are stay, supposed to go yeah, right 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 exactly and that's what uh, the sentiment was of the gentleman that Jess Arnold spoke to is that he you just don't imagine something like this right. happening Never. to a structure like a bridge and you think about all the people that take this every day and they're waking up to the news that it, it's no longer there I mean it is and a this shock. this and I the, mean this is an iconic thing in, in you know when 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 the news tosses to traffic this is one mm -hmm. of the things they show every day these are the you know it's when we show shots. the sky cam right. beauty shots yeah, here on absolutely. the news that's one of the things they show so right. i mean yeah this thing is a part of the skyline it's really mm -hmm. Uh, really a sad day for Baltimore and uh, obviously it's all hands on deck out there. They have a massive response to this and Jacqueline Quinn mentioned that they are partly waiting on some daylight, the sure. sun to rise so that they can get a better look at what mm -hmm. they're dealing with. Um, they're diving teams out there right now. They have multiple agencies involved in this, but what time does the uh, the sun rise? This uh, the sun rises about seven o'clock this morning, so that's when we'll get a better picture of what's going on, but you could even see uh, in the helicopter spotlight, mm -hmm. uh, so the, the bridge deck kind of in, in the roadway. It's just stark to, to see yeah. the, the roadway lines, right. you know, the dotted white lines laying across yeah. the top of that ship there. All that debris. Uh, just unreal. And uh, to think that there are actually vehicles tossed into the water. And actually, I did some research. I believe that the uh, ship channel there uh, where the ships are, are going, go, mm. supposed to be going under the bridge, uh, you can see it looks like that ship obviously was outside of the channel right um, is is about 50 feet deep so um, mm. it's it's going to be tough I think to find find survivors in this uh, story but I we, we can my goodness we obviously certainly, have prayers out yeah, absolutely here. Yeah, absolutely uh, yeah and you know there I can just uh, see how long an investigation like this is going to take because you're right the ship looks like it's 
to the, depending on how you're looking, yep. uh, to the right of where it should have been, what sure. happened here, mm -hmm. um, you know, so I'll, I'll look forward to all the facts when they come out, but first and foremost, just hoping that, uh, probably beyond on all hope, I understand mm -hmm. that, that uh, that there are some Survivors, miracles to come yeah, out of this. And we're praying for that. Yeah. I understand that this is a pretty long bridge. I mean, 1.6 yeah, miles. Yeah, between one and two miles. It's a long bridge. There's a, a long span going up to the bridge and a mm -hmm. long span that goes back down. And it's a really stark uh, kind of bridge, too, because I, I, I know uh, we had our kids in sailing camp. We, we actually live in Anne Arundel County. Uh, so we had our kids in sailing camp in Baltimore County, which is across this bridge. Uh, and this was back uh, two summers ago and three summers ago. So we had, uh, you know, a full, you know, 60 days or so mm -hmm. per summer that we're going, going back, back and, and forth right. on this bridge. And my right. wife would say she would she would take the tunnels because she did not want to deal with going over that bridge just because as you're going up this bridge, you're going from basically flat wetlands up to 185 oh. feet. So you're going up these ramps and it's, you're really aware sure, that of you're, how high up you're ascending, you're right. going. Yeah. So, um, and you know, I those, can just imagine. Those tunnels Terrible. we reported earlier because of an abundance of uh, caution, those tunnels are closed this morning. Really a state of emergency, um, as the yeah. governor has, has mentioned in that whole area. Right. And, and just a moment to stop and maybe reflect because can you imagine if this was your way into work every day or you worked the overnight sure. shift, you're just trying to get home yeah. or what have you, that this is uh, this is what happened. And it's not just the bridge that has the impact, it's what's yeah. around it as well. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is right. one of the busiest ports mm -hmm. in the country. And that's you, one of the main accesses. I, if, if not, I've got to do some research Search, but mm -hmm. uh, I believe that may be one of the only accesses uh, to get into the Chesapeake Bay to get out of the uh, Baltimore Inner Harbor. That's the mouth of the Inner Harbor right there. Right. So now yeah. you've got this mangled uh, bridge and debris that's across that whole channel. Mm -hmm. And you and remember, uh, we, we, we spoke about this. It took five years to build this bridge mm -hmm. uh, and you know it came down so quickly but to new, clean this up a here. relatively new bridge 1977. though right you know in the our infrastructure as we know across the country uh, could use a little tune up for a lot of bridges and roadways and this one it struck me is relatively uh, relatively new in the scheme of things but again this uh, ship perhaps not traveling where it should have been traveling and that's we'll all figure out that and, uh, when the investigation continues but a lot of things went wrong I guess I should say and you know it if you've driven uh, uh, driven even a, a small personal boat, if you see something ahead of you uh, and, and you want to get out of the way, it's not like a car. You can't just press the brakes and you stop. Right. So and you can't I could turn even, around once you're up there. Yeah, uh, I mean, it, if, if this were, you know, a, a situation where it's, this thing is coming out of the dark, uh, and they're they're seeing what they're they're headed toward. Mm. Uh, this ship really didn't have a chance to to get out of the way. Again, we are awaiting a press conference um, from officials in Baltimore, right there on the ground, just to 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 give the uh, the press that is gathered, uh, and surely people also who want to know what's going on or what next steps there are uh, to give an update.